There's one other really great function of the event pan crop tool, and that is the ability to be able to force effects to render just inside the mask that you created. So for example, in this clip here, we've got this boat that comes into harbour. We've seen it loads of times, and it's pretty much in the same point in the screen pretty much stays in this sort of area of the screen. And what I could do is I could create a mask around the boat, add an effect inside the mask, and then the boat would, say, be pixelated all the way through. So you can force events to occur inside your masks. And it's very simple to do. I'm just going to go through the workflow for you. Open up Event Pan Crop for the clip that you're working on. Here it is. And you're working with masks, so click the Mask button. There we go. We're now in the mask section and now we want to draw a mask around the boat so I'm going to choose the rectangle tool and I'm going to go slightly ahead of it and to the end of it like that and actually I'm going to hold the alt key left alt key and make it slightly circular so it's a rounded rectangle as opposed to a straight rectangle that's nice I'm going to add a slight feather out and I'm going to have it just a little bit out which gives me a nice feather brilliant so my mask is created, so how do I make the effects happen? Well, you make it happen up here where it says mask. If you can't see this, click the button here. That shows it, and under mask, open it up, and you see where it says apply to FX. Click and go yes. Now, over in the screen over here, you get the whole of the shot again. If you do go back to no here, you'll see that you just see the mask. But as soon as you go to yes, the whole shot is back in place. In other words, it's not masking off the shot, it's just selecting an area in which an effect is going to render or take place. So you then add the effect. Now, effects are added with this little button down here, as you know, but also notice you've got one here. So you can add an effect in where it says plugin chain. So that's adding an effect. If I click that, it allows me to navigate or it brings me to the plugin chooser and I can choose what I want to do. So I'm going to look for Sony Pixelate. There it is, Sony Pixelate, or maybe Quick Blur, something like that. So I'm going to choose Sony Pixelate, select it. If you double click it, it's added to the list up here, or you can single click it, select Add, and click OK. Either way, I've added in Pixelate. Click OK, and you'll see that it's added after the Event Pan Crop function. So Event Pan Crop is still there. If I can click on that, there's the Event Pan Crop. Here is the Pixelate and its functions. Okay, so I've now got a chain, and you can have 32 effects chained together for any one clip or track. 32 effects, which is an awful lot of effects. So what I'm going to do is change the pixelation up to sort of 90. You see, look, look how big it is there. So that's 0.9, and take the vertical to about the same, 0.9 roughly. There you go. And we've really pixelated out the boat. It's just inside the mask. If I go back here, we can animate the mask. If we feel that we need to animate the mask, we can just go forward in time to wherever we need it to move and actually physically move it and the keyframe will be created. So this is animatable. So you can pull through and just double check. So I'm just going to pull through. Does the boat go ahead or behind at any stage? Is it staying within acceptable rate? What's well, just about coming out there? Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go there, pull it forward slightly. There you go. So it's going to animate between. There you go. It smoothed it out for me beautifully. Just go off a bit further forward. And again, I need to pull it a bit further this way. That's fine. That smoothed it out for me. Keep going, keep going. Maybe just a tiny bit more at that stage as well. And in actual fact, I need to blur the end. So I'm going to pull the end out a bit as well. So there we go. Everything's going through. Now, clearly, at this point, I need to come out as well. So I'm actually going to make sure I'm absolutely over that keyframe. Remember, I've talked to it before. I don't want to create extra keyframes. So I'm just going to be over this keyframe. Then I can pull that end out a bit more as well. Just check I'm happy with that. Do I need to do it at the previous keyframe? Mm, it's possibly OK, but what I might do is I might pull it out anyway, just a tad. Pull it out like that. So we're OK up to that point. I'm keeping an eye back end of the boat's fine that's covered perfectly and the whole thing's fully covered all the way through almost to the end of the clip but at this point I need to pull the whole thing back clearly to about there and pull to the end of the clip that's fine so we've now got an animated mask in which the pixelation is applied and you can see it up here in the timeline 
So now if I shut that down because it's actually done and I go back to the beginning of my clip and I push the space bar to play, you can see that pixelation is happening and if you look at the end of the boat where we animated it, I'm going to keep it at all times covered and it's going to stretch out a tiny bit at the end so make sure that everything's fully covered all the way through and that's how you can apply an effect inside a mask. One final thing to show you which is just a, a little tool, I'm going to open up the event pan crop and I'm going to go back to position. If you remember I showed you you could zoom in and out and you can change these so you can actually move them. Notice however that they are moving from the anchor point and when you change any of these bits they're always going from the anchor point and just occasionally you don't want that to happen. A couple of tools for you to see. So if you hold the control key you can see that I'm changing the aspect ratio. So I'm making long and thin or short and fat and holding the control key allows me to do different types of cropping. So holding the control key it still goes around this center point but allows you to break the aspect ratio of your crop. Okay I'm just going to move this back to this point here and uh, let me just just remove bring it back to this point. Okay so that's about right. The other one if I pull this over so it's aligned to this side if you hold the alt key it allows you to change where the effect takes place from so you can see it's actually staying on this side when I'm pulling from here so it's not transforming from the middle anymore it's transforming from the opposite edge and again I can do it up here if I transform this one holding the alt key it'll use the opposite edge and the bottom doing the same opposite edge and even the corner points will do the same from the opposite corner and this is a great way of quickly getting to where you want to get to as opposed to having to go across and you're transforming it and all of a sudden it's disappeared out of the area that you wanted to look at you can say right that's at exactly the right place but the end isn't hold the alt key and I can just pull it in and it's transformed accordingly the top's at the right place but the bottom is an alt key transforms accordingly okay just a couple of extra tools to to finish off with so that's all I'm going to show you with the event pan crop options. You can see that there's an awful lot you can do. There's even more things that you can do. You can actually change aspect ratio and what have you and all these bits and pieces. Have a play with the tools. Get used to using it. Get used to these animation tools which are amazing and produce some fantastic work. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thanks again for watching.